vlog that you asked to be on, you don't even know. Okay. Does he have good followers? I'm okay. Have good followers. New bus down on my wrist. Is that in my trip? Small with the fist. Is that in my whip? Look like a fist. Fury up the side of my kicks. Sign a plate. Sign a dish. Do by whips. Do by kiss. Foreign tips. Foreign tips. Shout when I land inside it. Trip inside it. That's just for the fit And Dubai driving a whip like my shit Clutching the gear, I'm making this shit Doing the dash, I'm clutching the gas And five thousand dollar key Foreign exchange, checking on profit Twenty on the watch, ain't never clock in Blood on my shoes, you know I'm popping Louis turn around my head like a ladder Gucci belt on, and I'm still sagging Catch me dabbing out of Durban Shopping in Europe with a fur Catching flights like I'm touring I bought a foreign cause it was bought I'm counting for money till I start snoring Lamborghini bought on Not at all. Today we got an Alabama man in Atlanta right now. It's cold as hell. Yeah, so we're gonna be at Alabama A&M College. You know, pretty much just teaching them how to, you know, not to be dependent on that piece of paper. Now, I'm not against college or nothing, but I just know in two, 2020 that most of that stuff that you're learning is outdated. Um, most of the Fortune 500 companies don't care about your certificate. Huh? You see, yo, JT, you see how I started having that nigga down with these sneakers? Before a nigga wanted designers on this shit, look how I got that nigga down. Thank you, son. Thank you. Cause you was buying the ugly designers. See, I got you on these shits now. Nigga, I, you seen I, my closet? I got sneakers all through. Nah, yeah, but because you started seeing me with them sneakers, you like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck with lose with Wade right now. I'm gonna fuck with Wade. I'm gonna fuck with Wade. I can give you that. All right, okay, you see. I can give you that. That's what you're wearing to the event? Nah, I guess not now. What? You said it's cold. It is cold. But we're gonna be in the car. Man. This guy ever gets you though. He should be like, you were outside, right? Man. That's awesome. He said you're gonna get here at like 1.40. What time? 1.34. Oh, going up. As soon as we get in your apartment, you're gonna have to downstairs. Nigga Luda moved up. Wait, the Jefferson's out there. Where my room at? It's the right. I just gotta get the mattress in there. Uh, you know. The TV and all that shit. Uh, I want the TV, everything. The mattress is coming. The carpet, bed. Oh, man. Yeah. So my boy Luda moved up, man. Penthouse vibes. All that work. Get you some, huh? Yo, you know the crazy part I tell you guys all the time. We came up right here on this couch, right? So like... In the other apartment. Lou was in another apartment, right? It wasn't as big and spacious as this one. Like I said, he moved up. But when we was coming out, we were struggling. Uh, just trying to make shit work, man, with this business stuff. Just trying to... Having businesses flop on us. Uh, having business partners not come through on a end. You know, and they love us in a position where we was like, we don't really know what the hell is going on or what we gonna do. And I remember we started this business. Uh, let me pull this out real quick. I remember we started this business and literally we was grinding in this house. Me, Lou, Steve, we was sleeping on this couch. Every day, and I, yo, the crazy part, we weren't even talking about like no ranks. We weren't like, yo, we about to come up. We weren't like, yo, it's about to happen. We was just, yo, we was just grinding every day. You know what I'm saying? We weren't even thinking about what we were about to really do. And just to look back, it was like a year, two years. 
Yeah. Shit been coming back on my Instagram stories, and it'd be like two years ago you posted these. Yeah, two years later now, you know, we both millionaires, both successful businesses, um, you know, both not sleeping on couches no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so at the end of the day, you just gotta, you know, keep going, man. You just gotta keep pushing. You just gotta stay grinding, stay around the fire, stay around people that still grind, and stay around people that still pushing, stay around people that want more, um, and, and keep your dreams ahead of you, man. Like, shit, most of the success stories that I hear about was sleeping on somebody's couch or was homeless at one point, didn't know how they was gonna do it, didn't know how they was gonna make it. And then they make it, right? I, don't, I always tell people, people don't wanna hear about your success story until they hear about your struggle. You know what I'm saying? People don't care about the lobster and shrimp that you eating until they know you ate shit, right? And not shit literally, but people wanna know you've been through shit so you can teach them how to get through the shit. So if you're going through something right now, don't look at it like, oh, po poor me, poo hoo. Why me? Look at it like, thank you, me. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, I'm going through this because I'm gonna have a story now that's worth listening to. I'm gonna have knowledge to be able to get to other people. Like, only reason I have knowledge is because I took so many L's, man. I took so many losses that you wouldn't even think there was a such th thing as winning. You feel me? I took so many losses to the point now when I lose, I just say, all right, I know I'm gonna be able to talk about that later in the story telling people how I got through it. So if you're going through shit right now, don't think that you're the first one to go through it. Don't think that your life sucks, your life is all messed up, because you're just going through that process to make you a mentor, man. You're going through that process so you can be able to teach and coach somebody else. And that's what we, we do, man. We travel city to city, just teaching people about the process, teaching people about the things we've done, teaching people about the knowledge we gain, teaching people uh, of just everything on how to cut the learning curve of going through the failures we went through. Of course, you're gonna go through your own failures because that's what makes you that mentor, that's what makes you that leader, that, that's what makes your story. But the best we can do is help you miss out on some of the failures we went through. So we always just go city to city, talking to the youth, talking to the young guys. Girl, I'm 29 now, I'm getting a little older. But you know, I like to go out, talk to the people that was in my age when I got started, 22, 23, 24, because I remember having big dreams and not knowing if it was possible. I remember pawning shit, pawning my TV, pawning my phone, pawning jewelry, pawning stuff, man. Like, someone broke into my house. People don't even know, like, someone broke into my house, stole everything, my laptop, my TVs, my clothes, my shoes, I had nothing. I had to, like, ask my brother for the worst shoes he had, you know, just to have shoes on my feet. You know, this was during this journey. I went to jail. You know, people don't even know I went to jail while building an online business. They were sending my eyes to jail, and I was still building my online business. Um, and you're gonna have those hardships. You're gonna have those things happen. I've been evicted, all type of shit, man. You feel me? My car went missing. I don't know if someone stole it or if the bills collectors came and got it. I don't know. You know, shit happens, but you gotta keep pushing because at the end of the day, when that car went missing, I said that was my dream car anyway. You feel me? We're gonna get a lamb one day. Guess what? We got the lamb one day. When we got evicted, say, what the fuck? We live down. This ain't the dream house. And, you know, we ended up buying a mini mansion. You feel me? Uh, more rooms than I need. And so you gotta just always keep your eyes on the prize, always keep your eyes on the goal. Understand that L's aren't losses, it's just lessons. So learn from your lessons and understand their blessings for you to be able to teach somebody else how you went through a lesson that turned to a blessing. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button. If you don't know, I do giveaways every single day, cash giveaways, every Friday I give away something. All you gotta do to be qualified to, you know, join the giveaway family, we're in the giveaway season, holiday season. All you gotta do is make sure you follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Rich Off The Net, uh, you'll be qualified uh, to win some of those prizes. So make sure the notifications on because you don't want to miss out. But yeah, we headed to Alabama. Got a couple of leaders coming with us. Six figure, seven figure earners going to be in the building just spreading knowledge to the college kids on how they can turn uh, their cell phone device literally to a, a walking business, a walking success story, right? So we're going to bring you guys along with us. Let's get it. Let's go. You already know. We out. Hold on, two. Yeah. This shit's like giving that expensive, 
like six three seven. Which is like two fifteen, nigga. For real? What the fuck you pay sixty dollars for? For these? The jeans? Yeah. Those are those are the jeans with the thing in the back, right? Yeah. Two fifteen. Damn. That's a lot. Seen this man create freedom for himself, success for himself. My boy C P is off. One thing about every single person in this room is that you were made unique, right? No matter who you are, you were made unique in your own way, all right? But you were made by who? The Creator, all right? And we're not gonna go to church, but I'm gonna really get you to think with me. He created everything that we have, right, from nothing. So imagine what you can create for your life with everything that we already have. The information you're finna get exposed to really can put every single person in this room in a position that, that they can accomplish whatever they desire. Whatever you guys desire, I promise you guys that what you're about to get exposed to tonight, um, you can accomplish through. Please give it up for Chairwoman Kevin. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be here. Heavy hitters in the room. You know, you might be sitting next to one of them. You know, so be nice to them. Some of y'all sitting closer. I saw you. It's okay. Um, but so I'm not gonna take too much time. My job is really simple. Today I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna show you exactly what it is we do. What is this forex thing that everybody's talking about? Why is everybody so excited? What are these young people talking about? You know, buying cars, they posting cards. Like I need, I need to know what this is all about. But most people don't know how to multiply their money. Most people don't know how to get that money working for them. And unfortunately, I wasn't taught that, right? I was taught to go to school, get a good job, you know, and then basically work until I'm able to retire. 60% of people work for somebody else, meaning that they have a job. Raise your hand if you have a job in here. Who ever heard of the Forex market? Forex market? Okay. Does anybody actually know like what it is? Okay, majority of you guys don't? Okay, no problem. I'm gonna break it down for you. So Forex is short for foreign exchange. It literally means trading one currency for another. Now what a lot of people don't know is that you're actually participating in the Forex market right now. I used to be a barber, I was cutting hair. I met a guy who actually traded in the foreign exchange market, didn't know what it was, never heard of it, and finds out it was a real skill set, simply like she just talked about. I met a guy by the name of Riyadh Jones, and um, he changed my life. And uh, he told me, if you stay with this for like 18 months, you never have to worry about money again. I know that may sound crazy, but you know, it actually became true. I appreciate you guys coming here, because I know one day, when I was homeless three years ago, my boy up there with the hat, he came from San Antonio. I'm from New York. By that time, I was in Florida, sleeping on my aunt's couch, or just basically sleeping anywhere I could sleep. He took the time out to come from San Antonio and show me what they just showed you today. So that's why I'm here. Because if he took the time out three years ago to show me when I was homeless, who am I not to come here and try to talk to you about this opportunity? That not only changed my, my life, but changed my kids' lives and made me a millionaire. And once you learn how to trade, you have freedom. How many people you know have time but have no money? Raise your hand if you know people have time but have no money. How many people you know have money but have no time? See, the thing is, y'all gonna listen to people, this is the problem, y'all gonna leave here, and y'all gonna listen to people that don't have shit. Mm. <laughs> your broke friend with the green, your broke friend, they're gonna tell you this is a scam, but y'all both broke, so how's it work? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Real quick, my name is Riyadh Jones. I'm 26 years old. I've been an entrepreneur now for the past three years. And how many people in this room are in a situation that you really don't want to be in financially? The secret to getting what you want out of life is by helping enough people get what they want. Mm -hmm. The reason why you may not have what you want right now is because you're only going to live in life to pay your bills or pay your whatever, buy your shoes, whatever the case may be. 
But when you put the focus on serving people, helping people get paid, guess what? All your bills disappear. The last person we're gonna have speaking tonight, somebody I, I truly believe, you know, started the whole wave of all of this for us. He was probably the first one to get told up. <laughs> right? But he's somebody who literally just does it because he loves the people that he's impacting. You know, we're super grateful to have him even here in this room, honestly. You know, a legend in, inside of what we do, inside of trading on the chart, somebody to, to make the first, you know, probably six figures live. He's somebody who just saw the vision, and because of him, we're all in this room. So can we just clap it up for Mr. Garrett right now? How's everybody doing? Y'all still awake in here or what? See, I, I keep high energy because I like high income. So y'all got to turn up with me. How's everybody doing? Good. Y'all awake, right? This is good information that y'all guys are getting, right? So a little bit about my story, guys. I'm not somebody who grew up in a household talking about Forex. I'm not somebody who grew up in a household talking about a business. I was just a kid that always had a desire not to be normal. Not to be broke, not to be in debt, not to be struggling, not to be depressed, right? How many of you feel that way? You just don't want to be those things. It's not, it's not hard, guys. This is literally success secrets, right? This is 2012. I was just a two-time felon. I didn't know nothing about business. But I seen a man who had something that I desired, and I said, I'm going to duplicate everything that he has. What's better than one millionaire? Two. Okay, y'all got two millionaires in here, right? This is not cap. We pay taxes. We're not here to cap. We're not here to talk about seven figures, eight. We're multi-millionaires. Name the last class that taught you how to be wealthy. Name the last class they told you, come up to the front and write the definition of residual income. Right? Can someone name me the class? How many of you know what residual income is? You got your definition. Now let me tell you my definition. Residual income is... When you're living your best life, you're hitting all the vacations on your bucket list in the same month. And you come back home to your beautiful home that's paid off, richer. You came back from vacation richer. How many people get paid in their sleep? Now let's really talk about it real quick. You gotta understand, to say someone's broke is way better because we're really poor. If you want to be honest, you, you go look on the news and figure which one you are. They're going to tell you. It's not about money no more. It's literally about what every single person came up here and said, impact, 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 impact. Because I know if I can help every single one of you, they know if they can help every single one of you, and you should know if you can help every single person in your culture, your community, your household, your family, if you can help them complete their goals, live the life they want to live, you'll automatically live the life you want to. Alright? So guys, literally, we got to get out our feelings and get in our bags. Man, follow this man lead, man. He's literally the blueprint. When you follow the people that have the results that you want, you do the things that they do, you show up to the places they show up, you talk the way they talk, dress the way they dress, right? You grind the way they grind, and you stay consistent the way they stay consistent. You're going to have what you want out of life, guys. So everybody that's watching this video, literally, stop just watching. Start duplicating. Stop just watching and start copying. I know your mama told you copying is cheating, but when you copy your success stories, you win it. Let's get it. I just trade the game. I just trade the game. Sheesh! <laughs> that bitch. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, <laughs> nah, I this nigga Lord got a body suit on. No, make sure you see it. I went on I Am Millennium. I'm showing the profits of I Am Millennium. Yo, who mad is Lord? Who mad is your man, yo? That's your man, yo, fair, fair. That's your man right there, Lord? I guess yeah, that's your man. Yeah, Mr. Potato Head. This your Mr. Potato Head. Yo, this nigga got an extra young sh jacket on. That shit. shit go to the mid section, nigga. I want to take the stomach coming out, nigga. Get an extra large, nigga, next time.
fuck with this nigga, man. About to head back to Atlanta. See some of the squad. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Put y'all on game, man, to the drip, man. H&M, I'm telling you. They always got something that look like it should be in sacks. Let's see what we caught. No, we don't. I'm looking for a hoodie. Something light. That's all I need. Oh, they got the turtlenecks going crazy. Squeeze it. Yep. I need that hoodie right there. Yo, we right here on the street. Like after you pass Dillard. What's that, 17th Street? No, what's that? Like soon as you pull in, coming in the H&M, we on that street. Alright. Uh, so yeah, we about to go watch this Alabama game. Had to stop at H&M, pick up quick hoodie. It's cold out here in Atlanta. It's cold Atlanta right now. Um... <laughs> I can't think of nothing to say, nigga. New bus down on my wrist, is out of my trip. Swim with the fist, is out of my whip. Look like a fist, fish will re-up the side of my kicks. Sign a plate, sign a dish. Do by whips, do by fist. Foreign tips, foreign tips. Shout when I land inside it, trip inside it, whip. Inside it, trip inside it, inside it, kids. Inside it, inside it, bitch. Shout when I land inside it, trip inside it, whip.